and welcome back. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of calculus. Specifically, we'll be exploring the definition of the derivative. To understand the derivative, let's begin with a simple function. Imagine we have a function f of x equals x squared. This equation represents a parabola, and we want to find the derivative of this function. Graphically, the derivative represents the slope of a tangent line at any point on the curve. Put simply, it tells us how steep the curve is at a particular point. But how do we calculate it? The derivative is defined using a limit. The formula for finding the derivative of a function f of x is f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. In plain English, we take the difference in y values divided by the difference in x values as we move close to the point of interest. Let's walk through an example to make this clearer. Suppose we want to find the derivative of our function f of x equals x squared at x equals 3. We'll use the formula f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. The first step is to substitute values into the formula. We have f prime of 3 equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 divided by h. The next step is to expand the equation. Plugging in the values, we get f prime of 3 equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 plus h quantity squared minus 3 squared over h. Step 3 is to simplify. We can expand 3 plus h quantity squared to get the limit as h approaches 0 of 9 plus 6h plus h squared minus 9 over h. Now let's cancel out terms. The 9 cancels out, leaving us with f prime of 3 equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 6h plus h squared over h. Now let's take the limit. As h approaches 0, the 6h plus h squared over h equation simplifies to just 6. Therefore, the derivative of f of x equals x squared at x equals 3 is 6. You've just seen how to calculate a derivative. Derivatives are not only essential in calculus, but also have real-world applications like finding velocities, rates of change, and optimization. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the definition of the derivative.